Here's a little bit better picture of the tractor I was driving. I ended up putting a new head gasket on it when I got it. It was actually getting water down into the uh, oil. I uh, got the headlights working again on it. Oh, and by the way, this thing uh, from the previous owner, owner actually told me this thing sat for about 20 years. Um, apparently he got it in a trade at some point and just never really got into fixing it. So I ended up trading him another farm tractor for it and gave me a chance to play around with something new. Um, I also got the uh, generator rebuilt. It's an original generator, got the starter redone. I played around with the paint a little bit on it, but I'm actually planning to use it. So, this is all an ain't real sloppy. Got some nice wheel weights on it. I'd like to maybe get some front ones. Um, maybe find a sickle bar for it too this year. Got a nice three point on it. I do believe these actually were John Deere's first tractor where the three point came standard. And uh, I actually did some grading with it here earlier this year and I was actually pretty happy with it, honestly. Tires are a little bit dry rotted, but hey, they hold air. I think they may be original, judging by the diamond on them. So you have the little diamond right there. Normally the older tires had them, and most of the time your original tires actually did have these. Seat's half decent. Ah, there's my tea, my wonderful tea. Got old, good old door leaf. Actually, do that headlight works now. The one light in front here I got working, but I think the guts are pretty well gone in this one over here. I've actually tried a new light bulb in it, I tried cleaning everything. I think it's getting a bad ground, and do I go and try fixing it? I need another bulb here, or another uh, glass piece, but do I go trying to fix this thing? It's just easier for me to go on eBay, maybe buy another set of guts for it. I also got the back one working here, and there is a red light built inside of this as well, but I have yet to figure out how to get it to work. For some reason, if I put this wire right here, over here, there's another hook up there then the red light will kick on and this white one will shut off so I'm assuming I've got something backwards down there on that switch so eh, for another day I'll get it see with these John Deere 40s as well they did come with a belt pulley but it actually it fit over top your shaft right here and it took away your uh, PTO, but then you'd have a flat belly, or I'm excuse me, a flat pulley sitting right here to run all your, uh, maybe a thrasher or uh, saw buck or something like that. Hey, what are you doing there? So, I just figure I'd give you guys here a little bit of a heads up. back off but before I forget here as well there's the muffler I got up out of uh, the local junkyard I think it's a piece of stainless steel I'm too cheap to pay the 80 bucks for a normal muffler so I kind of went and made my own all right guys talk to you later